you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's another day in the coffee stand and we've accomplished so much so far. If you guys are new to the channel, I bought a coffee stand about a week ago and we've gone, well maybe it's been like two weeks, but we've gotten a lot done in here. I've been doing some paint, just some slight remodeling and today is an exciting day because we are getting closer and closer to finishing this place. Where we left off was we got the whole stand painted. I highly recommend watching the first video so you guys can see what this looked like before. But today, Devin's gonna come to the stand and help me. I stained these boards and they're gonna actually be going up in the window seals, which will be so nice because there's nothing there right now. And then we're also going to hang some heavy duty shelving above the machine right there so we can have a bunch of flavors, easy to grab when you're making coffee. And then we're gonna have two come out on the sides as well. So that'll be really really nice we just gotta run to the, my favorite store apparently right now the home depot for right now i'm actually really happy because my mom came in here yesterday and helped me get most of the painting done i just gotta do a few like touch up painting but other than that guys i'm so excited and i can't wait to get this stand up and running let's wait for Devin, and then let's go to the home depot Big wood here. I hate my wood's too big for the cart. Honey. What brackets do you want? The he most heavy duty ones you can get. It'd probably be smart too to get like one for the middle too, just to hold it up. All right, I had to go back to the Home Depot because we needed a couple more brackets. In the time that I was gone, Devin hung up the shelf and he also got this siding up, which looks so good, and he's just finishing up the side over here. All right, we got both shelves up. Now we just have one file and one to go in the center. We got everything hung up, and you guys, if you can't tell, I'm so excited because it's actually starting to look more like a coffee stand. Now we just have to get the flavors and everything that'll go on top of that. But Jamie is on her way here and she hasn't been here for a few days. So I wanna get her reaction to what she thinks about the stand. I know she's gonna be a little upset that these are so high because to grab the flavors, you know, you gotta really reach, but that was really the only option that we had. Welcome. super good and these are tall but there's there's really like no other option no that'll work yeah we'll just have to stand on our tippy toes jamie ended up really liking the way that it looks in here and i'm still so excited obviously it's the next day we're out of time crunch because i want to get the stand up and running asap there's still so much to do i ordered this off of amazon about a Mm, three to four days ago and it's a large stainless steel table okay and this table is gonna go from that fridge all the way to here and it has two different shelves on it so that'll be a lot of extra stuff for storing all the coffee supplies I'm going to attempt to put this together and then tomorrow all my supplies is coming here so I'll have like you can put everything on the table that I need to I got this beautiful table set up. It didn't take too long. Honestly, sorry, I apologize for my hair. I look like a crazy woman, but that was probably one of the easiest tables I have ever installed. It literally took me like 15 minutes to do. It's stainless steel on the top, and then I forget what that bottom material is called, but it's not stainless steel down there, but I don't really care. I think that looks super good, 
and that shelf down there is adjustable so if I want to raise it up I can. We have a couple different places here in Spokane that carry a bunch of coffee supplies. I just got some small stuff like garbage cans and like a new knot box which is this thing right here and just some small stuff. I'm gonna go grab it and try to fill up the stand just a little bit more. So it's just like this small stuff. This one is super old, really crusty. The rubbering material is already coming off so I'm gonna switch it out for this new one. That one can go in the trash. I'll kind of show you guys what I got. Huge trash can so I can throw those small ones away because if you guys have ever worked in coffee or know anything about coffee, you're throwing milk jugs away all the time. So you need kind of like a big garbage can for that. I got a ton of club soda and then I got a bunch of straws. We have a coffee machine and then we also have a panini press in that box, which I'm gonna set up on the table and kind of organize it a little bit and then we'll see how it all looks. We got everything out of the boxes, so now it's looking even more like a coffee stand. We have the coffee maker, we have the panini press, uh, cash register is set up for the most part. I just need an internet still, so we're waiting on that. I dug out some of these. This came with the stand. All of this came with the stand, which is nice. I'm getting in a huge coffee order, huge coffee order. Uh, including like syrups, sauces, and all that kind of stuff on Friday. So I was just making sure um, this is where all the flavors are gonna go, is around that. So I believe I'm gonna put one more shelf in right over here, and I think that'll be enough. I might need more shelving back here, because this shelf is tiny, you guys. I, like, what is this? It's so dinky. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to Home Depot tomorrow, get some more supplies and stuff, but I will see you guys on Friday when we get in our huge order. Anyways, I aren't even gonna believe it because it's gonna actually look just like a coffee stand at that point. Like, we've come so far. This stand looks like a completely different stand, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, but I'm going to see you guys on Friday when we have a lot to unload kind of do a little overview this is the back area we got done painting we got the bathroom and then you come down this step and this is what it looks like in here right now so it looks a lot different than what it was before Devin just put these shelves up last night and these shelves up about a week ago I'm actually here kind of early because I have a huge coffee warehouse order coming in and what I mean by huge is they told me they don't even think it's gonna fit in my stand so I might have overdone it a little bit with the flavors and stuff but I just want to be prepared <laughs> I have Devin's truck today if it doesn't all fit in here I can bring it to Devin's shop and just kind of store it there because I don't have any extra storage here which is fine I don't really care I'm gonna use it no matter what but it's a super exciting day because you guys see all these shelves they're gonna be full. They're gonna be full. And this hole, I can walk through here right now. I won't be able to walk through here in like probably an hour. Just know that when you start a business, expect to spend a lot of money. But anyways, let me show you guys what I have and I'm surprised that most of it fit in the stand. This is what the coffee stand looks like right now. It's crazy. We have so many boxes. These are all flavors, you guys. We have Red Bull. We have powders. We have Frappuccinos. We have white chocolate. You know, all the alternative milks. Hershey syrup. Like, we have everything. There's cups and stuff outside that I need to bring in. But, yeah, we, we've got it all. I'm going to set up everything on the shelves. I gotta be a little bit careful because these these uh, these syrups are very, very heavy and we have all of the bars into studs and each bar holds up to like 150 pounds. So I think I'm gonna be okay. The only thing I'm worried about is the material of the wood isn't the strongest. So if we have to, you know, switch the wood out, that's completely fine. But just gotta be careful and kind of see how everything feels once I get it up on the shelving. So I'm gonna get started on it. Jamie's gonna come and help me here in a sec. The next morning. This is what we have so far. 
<laughs> there's so many flavors so just know when you come to my coffee stand literally you can get anything you want anything you can any flavor you can think of I have it and I've worked at so many different coffee stands before I just feel like I know what people like and I like having options I like having all the sugar-free options because I like sugar-free if you're wondering why I bought so many <laughs> is why it's because I like options because people are so diverse you know we got all of the Lotus energy. This is what I drink every single morning. You guys hear me talk about Lotus. This is what it is. It's a concentrate. We have all the regular flavors and then the sugar-free is right back there. I just made myself one. Today, I am actually going to continue to organize because the floor and everything, it's still a little bit messy in here. I just need to find a, a spot for everything and then we're going to start stickering cups because I need to put my logo on my cup. I need to just... Just get everything set up because I want to open soon. We just made it back home. I feel like we haven't been to my house in so long. I got a huge delivery for more coffee stuff so I have to show you guys. I have two metal signs that just got delivered. So these are gonna go on the outside of the building. As you guys can tell, the theme is white, black, and like a light blue. So we got two of those signs. I'm so excited to put those up because those look so good. And then we also have punch cards. So when you buy 10 coffees, you get up to a 24 ounce for free. We're actually headed to Cameron's, Devin's brother's 30th birthday party. I am grabbing my winter car over at his house, which I, I'm so excited about because the roads are terrible right now. Devin was driving my STI when it snowed out and completely demolished the carbon fiber front lip. So that kind of just goes to show like when you have such beautiful parts on the outside of a car, like usually they're not okay to drive in the snow because they get destroyed. So I'm gonna be driving a winter car this year and I'm gonna show you guys when we get there because y'all are gonna like it. Um, but we have a jump pack. We have a, this is to fill up a tire. Then I got the key in my pocket. So wish us luck. I'm waiting on Devin. And then we're going to head out to go have some fun with Cameron turning 30. And then go get my winter whip. Do you have a jump pack? Jump pack. Holy shit. <laughs> Not even dead. That's crazy. I'm gonna be surprised if you start right away. <laughs> no way! It makes a Subaru a Subaru. That's crazy. Do you hear the cows over there? I thought it was a snow, though. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh no, the headlight. That's badass. <laughs> If you guys are an OG, you know that I have had, we've had this car for honestly probably like four or five years. Long, long time. We call this the W. We just call it the W. It's a, I think it's an 06 or an, o, an 05 or 06 WRX. And this thing is amazing. It started right up as you guys saw. It literally wasn't even dead. Oil's good. Like this car is amazing. But it needs a lot of work. Devin has, you know, ran the shit out of this car. Jared used it for the whole year. But this is gonna be my winter car. I wanna do some stuff to it. Like, I, I wanna make it look a little bit better. I wanna tint the windows, get new headlights, maybe put a wing on it. I don't know, I just wanted to like make, make it look a little bit better. Now that I own a business, like I can't have a piece of shit parked outside my business. You guys, there was a mouse in the trunk. Devin had told me it crawled out and I went down the road. I forgot something at Haley's house, so I turned around to go get it and I heard squeaking and I'm like, oh no, this mouse is still, still in here somewhere. Got to Haley's and all the tires were flat. They looked like they were full when I was parked in the snow. They were all flat, so praise the Lord for Cameron. He took the mouse by the tail, it was in the trunk threw it out, took the nest out because there was a nest, and then he aired up on my tires, and I am good to go. And you best believe 
that before I use this as my winter car, I need to deep clean it because that is disgusting that there's a mouse in here. It's gonna be kind of hard to clean because I hate that kind of stuff, but anyways, you guys, I'm back on the road, so I should probably put my camera down and I will see you guys when we get back home. All right, I need to document this moment because it has taken about, what, Jamie, two weeks? Two weeks to get the stand up in, well, pretty much just up to par with Shout out to Jamie for all of her help because this place looks amazing. It looks like a coffee stand now and we got the whole place, we got the whole place ready to go. So opening day is tomorrow and we both have to wake up at 3 a.m. to be here. It's 10 o'clock right now so we gotta go home, get to bed and get ready to serve you guys coffee in the morning. Then we're getting a snowstorm tonight too so I'll update you guys in the morning when we're leaving the house and getting ready to come and open up the stand for the first time. So I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Bye Bane, have a good day. Bye Coda. Bye Cody. just got to the stand and it's still a little bit early. We open up at 5 a.m. and it's like 4.45 right now, so we still have a few minutes just to set everything up, but this is pretty much what the stand looks like when we walk in, which is super pretty. Got all the blue lights in here. Five o'clock. First time turning this bad boy on. Ooh. <laughs> all right, now come we get coffee from us. <laughs> One eternity later. I just got home and I just took off my makeup and I'm getting ready for bed right now. You guys, today was amazing. I am honestly blown away by the amount of support that I got at the coffee stand today. Um, it's just so crazy because there was so many people, so much support, so much love. Not one person came through like negative. And believe it or not, when you work in customer service, <clears throat> a lot of that happens. And today couldn't have gone. I mean, it was perfect. I've I said this in the beginning in a couple other videos, but I literally cannot do this without you guys. Um social media has been such a blessing and I just, I don't even know, like I'm just so grateful for it and I wouldn't have been able to afford this place. I wouldn't have been able to even really like dream of owning my own stand. Like I never really had that type of mindset, but I do now. Like my mindset has changed and it's all because of Devin. It's all because of social media. Like there's so many doors that open once you start going. So if that's you, you have a dream, don't just dream it. Put action into what you want to do. That's all I have to say. I'm really tired and I'm sorry for mumbling. Um, I got up at 2.30 a.m. and we worked the coffee stand until 6 p.m. And it is now like 8.30. And I got, I'm going to wake up tomorrow again early and go back to the stand. So I'm going to go to bed. I just wanted to say thank you guys and... For supporting me on like this new journey. I am going to be very busy with trying to get this place like up and running smoothly and then you know I'm going to be working there for a while so I apologize if I'm slow on social media. I will not neglect it but I can't promise that <clears throat> I'll be like posting the same amount as I always do. I'll get back to that but I also want to focus on this business too. So if you like this video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.